Oggi siamo qua davanti al consolato tunisino per rivendicare giustizia e, e verità per Mary Ifati. La mamma e la figlia morte sul confine con la Libia e la Tunisia dopo una deportazione che è stata fatta da parte del regime tunisino. Il regime tunisino sta facendo oggi una deportazione quasi giornaliera di una centinaia di migranti subsahariani e che anche decine di migranti questi stanno praticamente morendo sul confine con la Libia e con la Tunisia sotto, eh, sotto il sole e sono desidratati anche. Oggi bisogna denunciare questo regime in Tunisia, questo regime fascista, Sayed ha fatto mille volte eh, la, la cosiddetta sostituzione, sostituzione etnica e quindi eh, parla di, una, di un complotto internazionale riguardo a questa cosa e qui adesso praticamente in Tunisia c'è una grande violenza, grande anche diciamo, aggressione nei confronti dei migranti subsahariani con l'omertà e con diciamo, la copertura dell'Europa e dell'Italia perché abbiamo visto che ultimamente è stato fatto un, un memorandum in cui obbliga Sayed a respingere queste persone quindi Sayed adesso è diventato l'allievo obbediente di di, dell'Europa e di, di Miloni, quindi oggi bisogna denunciare questi atti perché sono atti criminali, sono atti xenofobi e sono atti razzisti. Today we decided to come here for the grave injustice that is being committed to the sub-Saharan Africans in Tunisia, people who are being expelled out of the territory and it is their legal obligation to protect and respect the rights of every foreign national within its territory. Among them are the people that we are talking about today, who is Fatima and her daughter, six-year-old Marie, who lost their lives a few days ago in the desert as a result of these expulsions. We call it homicide. It is a homicide that they were in, uh, in Tunisia, taken and dumped in the, in the desert, and then they lost their life. We cannot continue to accept inhuman treatment being committed against uh, Sub-Saharan Africans or people on the move, people who want uh, a space to be, people who are seeking refuge. For these reasons, we have come here to demand justice, not only for Fatima and Marie, but also for the people who have died and the many more who are still being expelled and their rights are being violated within Tunisia. It is the many reasons why we founded the movement of refugees in Libya, which is a self-organized collective formed by refugees and asylum seekers and all people on the move in the North African region to document and to denounce this. And it is under this process in which we were able to identify and bring together the face of Fatima and Marie because they were faceless as they faced the ground in the Libyan desert. And it is a story of someone, of a, of a family that have been destroyed. But the moment we continue to call them as numbers, the moment we continue to see them as non-identical persons, we will never be able to solve it until we bring our human value.